Well, he was, Simon. Uh, so I'm going to show you here on the sky pad. So on the left, we've got Leclerc's pole lap, the best lap of the session, and Verstappen's last lap, which he had to abort. Let's take a look. As they head towards Saint Debord, Verstappen, great run through here. Of course, there's a white line you can see on the way out. He is slightly ahead of Leclerc. But look how much closer he is to the barrier as well, Verstappen. Fully on that curb, taking a bit more risk at Saint Debord. Up the hill around Massenet. Both drivers using slightly different lines when you get over the, the top of the hill. Look here. Verstappen, a tighter run around the Hotel de Paris. Leclerc, all weekend, has used this wider line. But it's Verstappen who's actually able to carry Simon. A lot more speed around Casino Square. If I pause it here, watch. The barrier on the left, that Marshall's getting a great view. Look how far he is ahead of where Leclerc is. That's the way that Marshall's post is. So Verstappen clearly in front of this stage. The four slow corners in the middle of the lap, this is where the Ferrari's had great rotation. It's been able to pivot itself around these four corners very well all weekend long. If I pause it just on the way out, and you look at the curb on the left-hand side, there, look, Verstappen is clearly in front. It was about a tenth and a half he was ahead. But now look here, as he goes into the tunnel, red flag unfortunately for max that is the end of his opportunity to improve so i'm going to just go back to leclerc for the rest of the lap because it was really impressive to be honest if you watch his hands really really controlled aggression good direction change through the chicane up towards to back tremendous commitment and speed against the barrier and the first part of the swimming pool now this for me is really interesting remember this is the lap before he crashed and just look how close he is to the wall here. You can't get much between him and the barrier there. And on the next lap, when he tried to go a little bit closer, it obviously went wrong for him. His hands through these uh, final couple of corners at Rascas and Anti Nose, so, so controlled, no hints of oversteer, the car working beautifully, and he was driving superbly as well. A very, very well-deserved pole position. At the end of the day, he did the lap on the first round that the others didn't, but it's all to play for today.